so today I'm doing a tutorial on Lana Del Rey. It's an inspired one. And um, I am loving Lana Del Rey at the moment. I just got her new album, Born to Die. It's absolutely the bomb. I absolutely love Lana. I love her style, love her hair. I even love her plum top lips. I do like them. And um, so yeah, today I decided to do a inspired uh, tutorial after I got so many requests for her. So if you want to know how to get this cat eyeliner and those full lips and um, all that jazz, then please keep on watching. So as always, the first thing you want to do is apply a base to your eyelids to prevent the eyeshadow from creasing. And the one I'm using is Soft Ochre Paint Pot from MAC. And um, you just take a bit on your finger and you just put that baby boy on. No rocket science, right? <laughs> oh my god, that was so bad. Also on the bottom. Okay, now for the first eyeshadow, I'm going to take Max Copper Plate. And I deposited all my eyeshadows and I put them all in palettes. I deposited this one too. And look, it says Copper Plate. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go a little bit further up than I normally would. Um, if you look at this eye, you see that I went um, above my crease. So with copper plate, you're just going to build some shadow of a new fake crease higher than your natural crease. And then I like to give this sort of a kick, a straight point right there. And then I'm going to take Max Mystery and on the outer corners I'm going to darken it up a little bit more. It's sort of like this um, this 60s eyeliner look. Um, a lot of looks had it back then too where uh, the darkest part was at the outer corner. Out, outer corner. Oh my god, I can't speak today. Now I'm going to go back into Copper Plate with my favorite blending brush. This is the MAC 224. And what I'm going to do is just make this softer. Because right now it's way too harsh. Just make it softer. Just relax on that eye. Just give it some space. You know, talk to him. Give him a weekend to huh? give it some time with its friends. I am talking shit today. I hope to God that the lighting of this video is okay because I tried some new settings with my new camera and I just don't know if it's gonna work. So bear in mind that if this looks like crap, it's because of my new camera. On the lid, I'm gonna apply Max Chamomile eyeshadow. And just with a big brush, I'm gonna pat that onto the lid. And into that inner corner right there. I'm gonna do exactly the same on my bottom lid. I'm gonna take Mystery and Copper Plate and just pop those on my lower lash line. And really softly start with Copper Plate because that is the softer color of the two. Then with copper plate, I'm going to go out a bit into that crease. And then go in that crease as well. For a quick inner corner highlight, I'm going to take Max Nylon. And I'm just going to pop that onto the inner corners of my eye. Okay, now it's time for the really big cat eyeliner. For that, I'm using Max Black Trap Fluid Line. And the trick with this eyeliner is to really make it a cat eyeliner. Take that outer part of your eye and really wing it out. Then from the outer point, you're really going to go down. But the more you go to the inner corner of your eye, you want to make it smaller. So right here, I have this really thick line. But as I go to the inner corners of my eyes, it's really, really thin. And that's going to give you that, like, cat look. First I'm going to make the direction I want to go to quite high then from your outer corner of your eye connect it from that point I'm going to go into my lid Further I go into my lid, I make the line thinner. Now once you have that basic line, you're going to look into your mirror and you're going to compare the two because of course you want them to be even. Now as I can see is that this one is a lot thicker right there. So what I'm just going to do is just make this thicker until it matches. 
Okay, so that's about as even as I can get them. Okay, what I'm now going to do is take a black eye curl. This is Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil. And what I'm going to do is tight line underneath the really big eyeliner. Because right now there is skin peeking through the liner. And that is not what you want. So you're going to lift your lid up and make that black as well. To make everything a seamless black liner. On my bottom waterline, I'm just going to use a nude colored eye pencil to really open up the eyes and this is what Lana does a lot in her looks. And I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shiomura eyelash curler and put some mascara on. And then I'm going to pop some lashes on. It doesn't really matter which lashes you use, you just want to go for these really long, uh, sort of cat eye shaped ones. The ones I'm using look like that. Just some really... Just some really long lashes. Then I will be back for the lips to make them a little bit fuller like Lana has them. The main thing is to overdraw your lips really softly and really naturally and then put a nude lipstick on. I'm going to use stone today. Now I'm going to go on top of the nude lip pencil from Inglot and I'm just going to blend it in so you don't really want to see this line anymore. It's just going to be a shadow. Because right now it looks a little bit dead because it's really gray because of the stone lip liner, I'm going to take uh, NYX's Lipstick in Orange Soda, which is a nice warm color, and I'm going to warm this lip up. So yeah guys, that completes this Lana Del Rey inspired makeup tutorial. It's just all about the cat eyeliner and that little definement in the crease and just those full lips. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. For any questions, leave them in the comment section below. For a full list of every single product used, go to my website, NikkiTutorials.com. Um, like my official Facebook page and follow me on Twitter, Nikki Tutorials. Um, and yeah. I just really want to thank you guys for watching. I love you. And um, I wanted to say we're born to die, but that's a little depressive. Wear your blue jeans in your video games. Like a boss. <laughs> oh, that was so bad. See you in my next video, guys. Bye.